The field of isotope production is, is a very exciting frontier. Uh, we have so many opportunities uh, to produce radioisotopes that can help people uh, every day. Today, um, eight national laboratories are included in the, in the DOE isotope program's activities and we are enhancing the capability by integrating universities in order to um, establish a network of production sites across uh, the nation, including the DOE complex as well as university capabilities. Our portfolio consists of isotopes for academic, um, medical, and um, industrial applications. Strontium-82 is our major isotope in production. Uh, this is a diagnostic isotope used for cardiac imaging. Um, and we've been producing this isotope for approximately 20 years um, with increasing supply every year. As Strontium-82 potentially moves into the commercial sector, we have a real opportunity to have more beam time available here, both at Los Alamos and at Brookhaven National Laboratory for research and development. We have uh, several initiatives. Uh, one, of course, that is guided by the um, recommendations of the Nuclear Science Advisory Committee report is trying to enhance the availability of alpha-emitting radioisotopes that can be used to treat uh, cancer, the diff various different, uh, different types of cancer. Um, under this initiative, we are uh, establishing and increasing the availability of actinium-225, astatine-211, and the LED-212 generator system. And besides the alpha-emitting um, um, radioisotopes, we also um, re-established the production of copper-67. Actinium-225 is a short-lived radioisotope. It has a half-life of about 10 days, decays via alpha emission. It is an isotope of interest now in the medical community for targeted alpha therapy applications. Uh, and here at Oak Ridge, as part of a joint tri-lab effort between ourselves, Los Alamos National Lab and Brookhaven National Lab, uh, we're producing it and at Oak Ridge we are chemically separating it from a thorium target from which we are making it from, uh, purifying the material and shipping it out to end users for evaluation. We feel that we can use the, the, the U.S.'s uh, high energy uh, accelerators to produce in, in roughly 10 days uh, the world's annual supply. Once the supply is there, actually the future is wide open for application of this because it can target so accurately to cancer. For the project right now, we are working on more fundamental knowledge of actinium and in the future we would like to work more in biological relevant um, media so that we can actually know how actinium will react in your body. The production of acetine 211, which is another alpha emitting radionuclide, um, is a promising candidate for um, cancer treatment that, which requires unique capabilities for its production. Acetine 211 is an isotope which we want to produce at the universities, so we are integrating the universities who have the unique capabilities to produce Acetine 211 into our network of DOE production sites. Here at Oak Ridge National Lab, we're supplying LED-212 in the form of a radium-224 LED-212 generator, and we run a series of campaigns, usually about one per month right now, to separate radium-224 uh, from its parent, thorium-228. We then take the, the radium-224, we load that onto a generator, uh, we send that out to, uh, to the customer, uh, where they're using it for a variety of applications and R&D, uh, and they will periodically milk the LED-212 from that generator uh, and use it in targeted alpha therapy applications. Due to its uh, biological and chemical properties, Copper 67 um, attracted great interest in the, in the 90s. So we now um, are re-establishing the availability to continue the critical medical uh, research and uh, for that we, de we developed the production at our proton accelerator at Brookhaven National Laboratory as well as we are in the process to bringing online the production on the electronic clinic at Oregon National Laboratory. I think working with radioactivity is very exciting, especially in the application of medical use. Uh, there are so many different uh, opportunities that can be obtained using radioactivity in the treatment of cancer and various other diseases, and also imaging, and I believe that the full potential has not been tapped and that 
this field is only going to get larger, so it's a very exciting time. To see this research uh, translated to medical applications feels very gratifying that to know my data can be useful to someone. I'm very proud to be able to work on this project. Ultimately, these materials have a, an end use and that, you know, we'll be involved in the treatment of cancer and, you know, if you can come to work and help make a, make a difference in those fields, then it's really rewarding. Everybody knows someone who has had cancer. There are people in my family who have had cancer. And so it's very exciting to be working on a treatment method that could make a difference in their lives.